So Prominence Phoenix uh, actually comes in two modes. Uh, there's a bunch of videos out there already that kind of covers that. Uh, but I believe if you line up these two kind of silver points here with the uh, the vertical parts, not with the, the blue on the side, it's supposed to allow the armor come off more easily in battle um, versus when it's the other way around on the side. If I'm wrong, please correct me on that, but it just seems like this flies off more versus when it's on these uh, blue sides and, you know, facing sideways. So this seems, I think it's called heavy mode. Um, definitely feels, actually no, that one kind of seems like it comes off more easily. I'll try it in uh, heavy mode or on this side, whatever that's called. All right, Revive Phoenix versus Prominence Phoenix. Three, two, one, go shoot. Let's see if we can get some armors flying off. came off last second. All right, let's do another round. Okay, round two for Revive Phoenix and Prominence Phoenix. I'm kind of surprised actually at how well a Turbo Series Bay is doing against a Dynamite Bay, but the Phoenix base has always been extremely powerful. Can't compete with the, the new size and weight with these guys. So for those who don't know or you know maybe started collecting bays after the Turbo series, when Phoenix came out, this has metal on the armor. And the gimmick with this guy is that it's supposed to fly off and bounce around and kind of smash into the opponent bay. Uh, it works sometimes and then sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and then it's just left in the arena and then they kind of hit it and slow down. Uh, but when it does work, it's pretty freaking awesome. All right, last round with Revive Phoenix against Prominence Phoenix. Three, two, one, go. All right, not a whole lot of stuff happening right here. All right, there we go. All right, let's move on to Dead Phoenix now. So with this guy, same exact gimmick, uh, except where Revive Phoenix had more metal on the body and a little bit on the uh, the armor. This guy has no metal around the body, uh, which makes him a little bit lighter. He came with Atomic, so it's a free spinning ball tips, you know, better stamina. But the uh, armor on this layer, there's a lot more. So when it hits, it does a lot more damage. So we'll see how this guy does. All right, Dead Phoenix, round one against Prominence Phoenix. Three, two, one, go shoot. There we go, Prominence Phoenix armor came off. Dead Phoenix is going. So you see how they're just spinning around, smashing into each other? That was pretty darn cool. Win for Prominence Phoenix. No surprise there, much bigger, a lot more weight going on. Probably gonna be much more uh, difficult to take this guy down. All right, I've got Prominence Phoenix set up with the armor on the, uh, the vertical points here versus on the blue side. So we'll see how that goes. Round two with Dead Phoenix versus Prominence Phoenix. Three, two, one, go. See there, the armor just sits in the, uh, the arena, just kind of slowing people down. So another win for Prominence Phoenix. 
Okay, so with Dynamite Bays, they can do low and high mode. So I'm going to switch them to high mode this time. So you put the armor that comes with the Dynamite Bays on top. The core chip fits in on the bottom. Lock everything in place. And it will have them perform a little differently because of the shift of uh, balance. So it's going to be more on top versus down low. It gives them a little bit more height and different performance. So let's see how that goes. Okay, we've got Prominence Phoenix in high mode against Dead Phoenix round three. Three, two, one, go shoot. Got a ring out finish right there, very nice. So, so far, nobody's been able to beat Prominence Phoenix. None of the past Phoenix forms have been able to stop them. Uh, I'm gonna go with Perfect Phoenix from the Hasbro Pro series. So it comes with friction. We've got uh, uh, the proof frame and looks like eight dash. And the cool thing about this is it combines the weighted armor from Dead Phoenix with the weighted body from Revive Phoenix together, which is why they call it Perfect Phoenix. It's a lot heavier and we'll see how this guy does. All right, we've got Hasbro Perfect Phoenix from the Pro Series versus High Mode Prominence Phoenix. Let's see how this goes. Three, two, one, go shoot. pretty awesome. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch Prominence Phoenix back into low mode. So again, if you're new to the Dynamite series, you take the armor that comes with it from the top, flip it up, upside down, piece it in the bottom, and then take your core chip, snaps in place, lock it back, and then you just put your bay together like normal. Metal driver actually seems to work really well with the teeth in here. I know a lot of people complain of these metal uh, drivers ruining teeth. I've yet to see it myself on even other bays that I have. Um, I, I don't understand how people are getting their teeth ruined, but I've yet to do it on mine and I battled them like crazy. But here we go, we're gonna click it back together. We get the armor piece back on. Seems like the armor flies off more easily when it's set up on the, uh, the vertical connection points here. And so here we go. Okay, we've got Hasbro Perfect Phoenix, round two against low mode Prominence Phoenix. Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, looking like a stamina battle here. What? I think we just got our first win against uh, Prominence Phoenix. That was pretty darn awesome. I'm gonna do another round with this guy. But let's see if we can pull off another one here. Three, two, one, go, shoot. So that's the problem with these sometimes is when they just kind of stop immediately, uh, they just steal all that spin that you have. All right, so there we have it. Uh, I did all the battles with Phoenix, all the evolutions for the Phoenix Bay. Uh, we got one surprising win with the Hasbro Pro Series. I uh, think that that was just pure luck. Um, weren't able to win after that. But uh, this has been one of my favorite bays since it came out from the Turbo Series. Uh, and these are extremely good. I mean, they, they were beating bays all the way up to, I believe, Super King. Um, some of those bays finally started to beat the, the Phoenix ones. So these are very good. They're fun to use. And I hope you enjoy it. Take care, guys.